Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Killer Instinct video. So, for those of you that pay attention to this game or, you know, are kind of watching it, watch the Twitter feed, all the relevant people, all that kind of stuff, then you may well already know this, but if you don't, then if you boot up Killer Instinct today, there is an update. And this is a pretty big update. It's 675 megabytes um, and there are quite a few changes they put in place. There's some sort of some of the kind of background balancing things, but there are also some of the other things like, for example, Orchid gets her classic costume, and there is a bit of a dodgy way to get Jago's classic costume as well. So I'll discuss all of that. But yeah, I thought I might as well put together this video, discuss all the patch changes, um, and then yeah, hopefully that way it'll uh, shed some light on anything you didn't already know. I will also drop a link to the forum down below so you can actually read the patch notes yourself if you want to. But otherwise, let's get straight into it. So starting off, the very first thing uh, before we get to the kind of the meat of the game is. As you well know, Killer Instinct itself is a free game. You can download it with one character, and up till now that one character has been Jago. They did promise beforehand that what they would do is they would implement a character rotation, so then eventually, um, you know, people that are using the free game can experience other characters. Now Jago has now been swapped out, and the free character is now Sable Wolf. So, for those of you that are kind of thinking, oh, you know, I'm always seeing Jago online, you may well see an influx of Sable Wolves online because that is now the free character. So for those of you out there that aren't playing, aren't paying for the game, or haven't paid for it yet, then Sable Wolf is now your new character. So if you load up today, you'll be the player's him. So enjoy that one. Now next up, this section kind of comes under under general fixes. Um, and basically the first one is the there's basically kind of full controller support now. Some people had reported some issues that if you plugged into certain USB slots, controllers wouldn't work. Well that's now fixed, so it now works across the board, so that's pretty good. Um, additionally, some people did say there were a couple of sort of save data issues where if you were playing and then basically if, if you had like a couple of people on the console, you may well know that you can when you walk in front of the Connect, it'll also sign you in. Now people reported that if they were playing Killer Instinct and then someone like their brother walked behind them, it would sign him in and then it would mess up your save file and sometimes it also kind of kicks you out. They've now sorted that out so that is not any longer an issue, so that's another handy thing. Additionally, if you want to turn off um, Toast, there is now that option in the in the menu. So if you don't want to kind of have the thing popping up sort of saying you've got achievements or that kind of stuff, then you can get rid of that. Now moving on to the KI store, a lot of people had this issue and I was one of the ones that had it as well. Um, you may have found that when you when you play through the game, you had to get 150 fight titles to unlock your costume number five, which is typically the gold color, you know, gold Sable Wolf, gold Jago, all that kind of stuff. Um, but a lot of people reported that when they got, you know, despite on their, you know, their titles, it says they've got 150 titles, they still could not unlock or buy the costume from the Chaos Store. Now that was acknowledged, it was a, you know, well-known issue happened to a lot of people, so that has now been fixed. If you've already completed the criteria, then that will be retroactively um, unlocked for you. So you, I, you know, for example, today I went in and number five is now available for purchase, so I went and bought it. Additionally, if obviously you haven't done that, um, then when you do obviously complete the criteria, you get your 150 titles, then that will now unlock. Also on the KL storefront, um, there's also the training mode icon unlocked. So provided you, again, provided you have completed the criteria for that, then you can get the training mode icon. Um, and again, if you haven't, then as and when you do complete the criteria, it will be unlocked. So they are the two KI store fixes. So basically anything that you couldn't unlock before, go and check it because you should now be able to get it. Now, moving on to in-game updates. So first one, um, there is now a character select option in the local versus screen. Um, so, you know, in the, or in the pause screen of the local versus screen, so, you know, it means save you haven't kind of back out, back in, you know, all that kind of stuff, so that's, that's pretty handy. Additionally, the um, command list has been updated and fixed, you know, there were a couple of sort of, like, text overlays and some sort of, like, messy sections and things like that, so they've been tidied up a bit, so that is now a lot better. Additionally, now, um, if the player 2 controller is unplugged, the game will now pause, whereas before it didn't, so you could have just carried on sort of taking advantage of that. I mean, okay, obviously you're only going to do that local play, so you would obviously respect your friends, but still that has been put in, so that is now a valid fix. The accessory menu screen has been updated and patched as well, so removing any sort of issues on that one. I mean, I didn't actually encounter any myself, but um, that is one of the ones on the patch notes, so again, if it's something that you know that happened to you, then this, this should well be a fix for it. Also, if you pay attention to the main menu, before you kind of go into any of the sub-menus, you'll see that on the side, if you press Y, you can open the meld. That is now accessible from the pause menu, so whereas before you had to kind of only do it from the main menu, you can now do that when you're paused, which is also pretty handy. One thing you do need to bear in mind though is that the replays library will now have been wiped because because they had to update the the executable, they updated the, you know the whole kind of game section. They had to just wipe them clean, which you know is it might be a bit annoying if some of you were trying to hang on to some of your replays. But at the end of the day, you know it's a small price to pay for all these uh, kind of brilliant fixes they're sending in their way. So um, yeah, your replays will now be empty, so you've got to start all over again. But no worries, just keep on playing. You know <laughs> that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, and finally, um, some of you may have noticed this if you played in training mode or practice mode or dojo mode, things like that before. Um, that if you play as Jago, sometimes his, his accessories don't appear. Like, you know, he won't have a sword or something like that, and you'll be just kind of, you know, it still works. There's still a hitbox for it, but you just can't see a sword. Well, that has also now been fixed. So that is everything that falls under the kind of in-game update section. Now, next up, I want to move on to the 
online updates. Now, this is a really, really big one for a lot of people. You know, I've been playing a lot of ranked matches, and a lot of people have been complaining, especially the way that the way that the ranking system works. You know, for example, you could spend ages and ages and ages fighting, you know, loads and loads of people. It's it takes you ages to build your bar up, and then you lose one match, and suddenly your bar just goes down ridiculously fast. So people were asking for a lot of balancing on that, and they have answered those questions. So, um, starting off in the online updates. So before that. Um, first one in the online updates is leaderboards. Now, previously it was behind the kind of gold privilege, so if you're if you're a gold member, you could see the leaderboards. Otherwise, you couldn't. Well, now if you're a silver member, you can at least check them out, so you can kind of see where people are. Obviously, you still can't play without gold, but you know at least you can feel a little bit more involved. Additionally, there are some general fixes put in place to try and smooth out the party invite system because sometimes it is a little bit hit and miss. Sometimes you're trying to sort of you know you need to kind of start a party, leave it, and start it again, sort of things like that. But alas, that is now out of the way. Additionally, there is now also a rank up and rank down display at the beginning of the match. So, for example, you know sometimes when you're playing, and it'll say this is your rank up match, your rank up, or your rank down match. This will also inform the other player as well. So, now it kind of adds a bit more kind of competition because obviously, if you can see that this person's about to rank up, you might decide you might want to sort of you know go go all out and try and sort of stop them, or or if they're going to rank down. You know, I mean, it's, I'm not trying to say you should be mean, but you see what I'm saying. It will now tell you whether there's a rank up, rank down. So, next up to the actual ranking sort of points and distribution. Now this is the really, really big important one that everyone's going to be looking forward to. So, just to kind of set the scene, previously if you played um, and you fought anyone that was kind of four ranks above or below you, then you would get no points. Um, and obviously this is really, really annoying because a lot of the high rank players, you know, for example, you spend a long time trying to work your way up, and if you don't encounter anyone of your level or kind of similar level, then it's nigh and impossible, if not completely impossible, to level up. You know, if you're if you're like a ladder climber or a comeback kid or something, and you do nothing but fight, like, you know, button mashers, free, or like, even things like... Um, underdog or thing like that if you if you fight them all day long you'll get no points and you'll never move so it's basically impossible for you to rank up so now what they've done is they've they've rebalanced that slightly so that even if you do fight someone of a slightly lower rank or a much lower rank you do still get some points obviously you're not going to get a lot of points so you know so it's still not going to be a case of like all the high rank players are just you know going all out on the on the low rank players and just boosting their levels but it does mean that you know you do that way you get rewarded for all your time spent. You know, there's no point if if you're a high rank player and you've spent the entire day playing the game and you haven't moved at all because all you've done is encounter low rank players. It's not really fair. So um, yeah, I'm not going to go through all the specific figures for now because those are on the actual forum. So if you go and follow the link in the description down below, you can check out the table and see exactly what you get. But the point is, if you now fight low rank players then you will still get some points and similarly also they've tried to balance out how much you lose if you lose to other people you know if you obviously if you lose to a high rank player you lose a lot less but even if you do lose to a low rank player you don't lose quite as much as you did before because obviously as i said it used to be really really nasty if you'd spend ages and ages sort of working your way up and then suddenly you lose one match and you just lose all that progress so yeah that should be really really good you know it's going to be a, be a great way great day to sort of like start playing rank matches again because at least it should be a bit more a bit more progressive so i'm gonna i'm gonna jump on that because i want to boost my rank today so that's it for most of the important fixes. Now there are a few character specific ones down below and there are a couple of global fixes. These are all kind of tied to specific characters or tied to a few sort of moves. I'm not going to list them out at the moment because, you know, for, for example, I don't play as all of the characters anyway, so I don't want to just sort of suddenly say, oh, this is a fix for all kids because obviously if it doesn't have context, then it's not going to mean much. But the point is there are a couple of, like, for example, you know, I'll just give you, give you one off the top of my head, like Jago, you know, I play Jago. Um, his endo cooking is now considered an opener, so you can at least, you know, use that to start combos, which is, you know, pretty cool. It gives you sort of more to your library. Um, but yeah, there are a few characters specific fixes so i'm going to say for that one do go and follow the link in the description it'll take you to the double helix forums and then they've listed out the, the devs have listed out all the patch notes so you can see if you know if you if you play a specific character you can see what has been affected for you but anyway that is pretty much it for all the updates so yeah it's a, it's a pretty big patch you know it's a really really good patch hopefully it should be you know make the rank rank matches a lot better unfortunately there isn't yet a fix for Ray Twitter's online, so you know, for the moment you're still gonna have to deal with it. You know, that's not something that they have to. I mean, they may well fix it in, in the future. They may may kind of punish them, give them sort of like a down rank. But right now, that has not been implemented in this, so you are still gonna have to deal with it. But anyway, that is. They are all the kind of changes to the actual gameplay itself. There are a couple of other things that you might want to know, and these are the kind of the really important things. I probably should have said these at the beginning because you know. But anyway, um. If you go and select costumes, then you will notice now that if you go and select Orchid, you'll see that there is an optional extra frame above. So if you move up, you can now select her classic costume. Um, I'm not actually a massive fan of it, but you can select it. It is kind of a sort of skin tight, like latex costume. And also, if you notice that if you with that as well, it's not just a costume or a different color. If you then go to the um, customization options and you select that color, it's got a whole host of different accessories that tie specifically to that costume. So, for example, if you look at the third one, like I quite like the third one. It's got kind of like a hat that almost looks like an M. Bison hat, something like that. So yeah, they are um, new costume for Orchid and new set of accessories. Now there is also um, 
a classic costume for Jago. However, at the moment it doesn't. I guess again, this is something they're going to patch eventually. Um, but at the moment it doesn't select in the same way that Orchid does. You know, you don't go across and just sort of move up and select it. It's a bit kind of dodgy the way you have to do it. So I am going to put together a video showing you specifically how to do that. But in case you're watching this and you want to know now, then what you do is you go to versus mode. You go to player versus CPU. Select Jago as your first character. Select Orchid as your opponent. Change her to a classic costume and then change the colour, but do not select it. Just move up or down to select like colour 2 or colour 6. Then as soon as you've done that, press B, back out, back out again, back out to the point where you can select Jago, press down and you'll then see that it will load a different version of Jago and it'll be his classic costume. Again, I'm going to do a slightly more detailed version of that, so if that was a bit confusing then just head over to the channel and check out the video for that one. But for the time being, yeah, that is how you get Jago and Orchid classic costumes. Um, and then yeah, you'll start using them online. So, hopefully you enjoy that. Um, Hopefully you found this helpful. If you didn't know about it, then hopefully you now do. Um, as I say, do go over to the forum and check it out. You know, the guys have been doing a lot of hard work on this, so it should be really, really good. I'm really looking forward to playing today. So yeah, um, thanks again for watching. As always, don't forget to hit that like button, give it a thumbs up, show your support. It does really help me out. Obviously, don't forget to subscribe for more awesome Xbox One content. And also stay tuned to the Arax Gaming Facebook and Twitter pages for all your updates throughout the week and all your gaming news. And additionally, last one, don't forget to follow me on Xbox One. My gamer tag is Arax. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.